Hello, hello, everybody. I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that you've had an, a, a wonderful week so far. Um, we are more than halfway through the week. Today is Thursday, so thank God for that because I don't know about you, but this has been kind of a long week for me. But listen, we're almost to the weekend, so to God be the glory for that. Um, you guys, I hope that you guys enjoy Monday's uh, lesson, our first session uh, as we started the Tap In series. Um, and I hope that it blessed you. I hope that you share it with somebody. And so today I am here to do my job. I am here to speak faith. I'm here to ignite your faith. I'm here to set you ablaze. Hallelujah. And the word for today is that you're going to keep getting back up. Come on and type that in the comments. I'm going to keep getting back up. Come on. There is no condemnation. To them who are in Christ Jesus, I'm trying to pull up my scriptures. You all know that sometimes uh, we are made in flesh, we're wrapped in flesh. We will not always get it right. Hallelujah. So we thank God for his grace and his mercy that is readily available to us. Okay. When we jack things up, our God who is rich in mercy, his omniscience, he knew, he knew that we would need an extension of him in times when we fell short. Okay. So the word of God in Proverbs chapter 24 Verses 16 says, for a righteous man falls seven times, seven times and rises again. Let me say that again. A righteous man falls seven times and rises again. But the wicked stumble in the time of disaster and they collapse. Come on. I don't know about you, but I do know about you because I know those that follow me and those that tune in to here, we are a part of that righteous category. Come on up in here. Say, I am a righteous man. I am a righteous woman. I am chasing after the things of the Lord. Hallelujah. And when I looked at this scripture, I said, God, even though it's just short and sweet, the first thing that came to me, Lord, there's a component of grace here because it says that although we fall seven times, right, we will rise again. Hallelujah. We'll rise again. We're not a, a part of that other category that we're falling in disaster. No, because we're going to keep on working and, and pruning and, and striving and pressing towards the mark for the prize of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So yes, we will make mistakes. Yes, you will fall. Yes, you won't always get it right. Yes, you will feel at times that you have let the Lord down and that all of heaven is coming at you, okay? But I want you to understand that there is a level of grace and mercy for you. I'm talking to those of you all who allow the enemy to beat you over the head, who allow the enemy to talk in your ear and to talk all of this noise and all of this whack talk. No, we serve a God who is able. The word of God tells us that he's just and he's able to forgive us for everything that we've done. And I think sometimes I had to be reminded that the word of God says that he throws our sins into a seat of forgetfulness. I think we forget about that. The enemy sometimes is so busy making us in our own mind pay for the mistakes that we have made that we forget that once you truly repent, once you truly repent and you say, God, I mess up. Like I just, I jacked up this time. I don't know what got into me. I don't know what came over me, but I repent father. And true repentance means that we turn, okay? We're not just giving lip service, but we're turning away from whatever it is that tripped us up, whatever it is that messed us up, whatever it is that caused us to stumble, we turn from it, okay? And we keep on running. You get up and you keep on pursuing. You get up and you get back Get back in the place of prayer. That's the thing right there. The enemy will cause us to feel so much condemnation that you wind up staying out of the presence of the Lord. That is a trick of the enemy. And I want to let you know that there is room at the cross for you. Come on. There is grace available to you. So you get back to that place of safety. Come on. Don't stay on the outer court. Come on, don't stay out of the ark of safety because the enemy will play with your mind and let you know like you mess up this time. There ain't no way the Lord gonna forgive you this time. Listen, and then you never get back into position. You never get back into the place where God wants you to be. And then you get further and further and further away, okay? And God's arms is never too short where he can't reach you. But the problem is this, our mind, 
or we trick ourselves out of covenant and relationship with God. So I want to speak to your spirit of today that you're going to keep getting back up. Keep getting back up. Keep pursuing. The race is not given to the swift nor to the strong. But what? To the one that endures to the end. The one that endures to the end. Come on. Those that are doing all this loud talking and all of this extra and the Lord said, ah, come on. We we just know that, that that's just extra. The, the race is not given to the swift nor the strong. They look as though they have it all together. Come on. They look as though they're dotting all of their I's and crossing all of their T's. But only God knows the heart. And typically when you see people of that caliber, I mean, not to be judgmental, but they are a hot mess. Okay. So stay focused on your own race. Make this thing personal between you and God, because we're all unique in this thing. We're all unique. We all have a unique assignment. God deals with us, with us all in his own unique way. The way that he speaks to me, he does not speak to you. The way that he deals with me, he won't deal with you like that. That's why you have to develop personal relationship and personal covenant with the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So that you can get to know him and the pardon of your sin. What was the scripture? The scripture focus for the new series. Come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. I'll give you rest. The Lord opened the invitation wide open. Take my yoke upon you, he said. Take my yoke upon you. God is pleading. Learn of me. Come on and learn of me. Learn of my character. Hallelujah. Learn who I am, not what they told you I am. That's a lot of our problem when we grew up in our different denominations and, and our ways of all the organizations that we came out of. You know, they told us who God was. OK, and we never really took the time to develop and establish the relationship for ourselves. So I want to encourage you to stay in that secret place with God. I want to encourage you that no matter what you face, no matter how far you think you've fallen, that God can still reach you. And, and if you got breath in your body, you get and still have time to make it back into the ark of safety. Come on, you're going to keep getting back up. Hallelujah. You're going to keep getting back up because God is chasing after you. Come on. He sent me today to remind you that he yet has need of you. Come on. There is yet a work for you to do. The fact that you are alive is testament enough that God still has need of you. So we silence the voice of the enemy that comes to us when we make a mistake. We silence the voice of religion. Come on, don't, don't y'all know, don't get me started. We silence that voice of religion, the fear mongering that you're going to bust hell wide open. Everything you do, you turn to the left, the right, you're going to hell. No, we rebuke the hand of the enemy. We rebuke the tactics of hell that will come against God's people to try to prevent you from getting to your destined place in God. You're going to keep getting back up. Come on. You're going to keep pressing. You're going to keep pressing towards the mark. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If the Lord could use King David in such a way to where even today we know him, we know his legacy. We know the hot mess that he was, yet God still chose him still chose to use him, still chose to call him. Come on, J. David, uh, uh, sent Uriah to the front lines, set Uriah up so he could sleep with his wife and then had a baby with them. Come on, y'all, let's bring that to, to today's terminology. Baby, you done crept up in some, uh, some other man's house while the husband was away? And you have had a baby on this? What, what in the world? Yet the Lord chose to use him. And David stayed. Come on. David stayed before the presence of the Lord. Repenting. That's why we have the Psalms. Pouring out his heart before God. Hallelujah to your name. So you are never too far where God cannot reach you. Hallelujah to your name. You never messed up too much where God cannot reach you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
I've even recently um, discovered and come to the realization that even those who think that they've sold their souls, like there's still grace for them. It's the voice of the enemy that will have them to believe you 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 got out there too far. You done sold your soul for fame and fortune and wickedness. There is no way that God is going to receive you back. But yes, he will, because their souls were never theirs to sell in the first place. How you going to sell something that don't belong to you? You know what I mean? So keep getting back up, keep pressing. And this ties hand in hand with us tapping into the love of God. We serve such a loving savior. Oh, how he loves us. Oh, how he still chases after us. Oh, how he still desires to use us. Oh, how he still blesses us despite of us, in spite of us. God is a good, good father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You're never too far that God cannot reach you. Bless your name, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, Father, those on the other side that will see this video, that will hear this replay, Father, I pray that your love Lord Jesus, will blanket them in this very moment. Lord, that they will feel your presence like never before. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, because you are still chasing after them. Hallelujah. You yet and still desire to use them. You yet and still desire to be in covenant with them. Hallelujah to your name, Lord God, and I speak to your spirit. Yes, I'm talking to you that you will make a choice today that you're going to come all the way in this thing. Come on, you've tried everything else. You've tried everyone else. Come on, you've tried relationships and things and substances and bedrooms and sex and sex partners and all kind of stuff. But I want to let you know that none of that compares. None of that compares to the love of the Father. We'll never be able to even comprehend that type of love. Come on, somebody that, that had the choice, if he wanted to, to tap out of Calvary, okay? To say, ah, this is too much. Come on, I can't do this. Because you got to remember that Jesus and God is one and the same. So the awesome and amazing God, our Father, praying to himself, Father, if it be your will, let this cup pass for me. Yet he chose to carry the assignment through for you and for I. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So keep getting back up. Keep pursuing the Father. Keep pursuing your rightful place in the kingdom. You have rights to this. The enemy is big mad. I just need y'all to know that he's big mad. Because he will never, ever have the opportunity that we have to be in covenant with the Father. So it's his duty to kill, steal, and destroy. It's his duty to feed you lies. It's his duty to try to torment you. Come on and trick you out of your anointing. But I come, says the Lord, that you might have life and that more abundantly. So you guys take this word, stop right here just a moment and give the video a thumbs up, share it with somebody that needs this encouragement on today to let them know that God still has need of you. God still has need of you. you you're not too far out there. Come on. And we silence the lies of the enemy on today in the name of Jesus. He's already defeated. I love you all so, so much. Uh, don't forget that on Monday, we're in week two of this series, Tap In. So join me, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, for our second session. We're going to go in again. I love God. He is so amazing. He's so, so good. Um, you guys, I want you also to uh, be on the lookout tomorrow for the prophetic blog post that is coming out. I release those every week uh, on Friday. If you want to stay connected, please go and fill out the... Uh, Oh my gosh, I just drew a total blank. Oh, 
list. Join the email list, okay? Sign up for the email list so that you can stay connected to the ministry. Uh, you guys, I um, I love y'all so, so much, and I hope that you have an amazing day, an amazing rest of the week. And if I'm not back, uh, have an amazing weekend, all right? And I will see you Monday. Bye.